This is a wake-up call for Republicans. America elected Joe Biden by over 7 million votes, and you're confused because you didn't see us flock to his rallies and cheer his smackdowns like we were at a pro wrestling event during a global pandemic. We don't wear matching hats or have no more malarkey flags waving from the backs of our trucks. Do you know why? Because Biden is not our tribal warlord. We believe the job of a U.S. president is to represent more than one interest group. That's why 81 million of us turned out to stop a narcissistic personality cult that embodies all seven of the deadly sins, most of all pride, which you've taken to levels of blasphemy, claiming your political leaders are handpicked by Jesus Christ. This country is called the United States, and we have multiple converging crises that need adult supervision. But we are being distracted, trying to get control over a critical mass of you. Well, hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 20th, 2021. Today's been a great day because we have a new president that says he's going to do a lot for the American people and for his country. And let's actually see what happens in that one, right? As we expected, Donald Trump decided to actually uh, be childish and leave the White House before Biden showed up. And also, you know, be more childish by not attending his uh, successor's inauguration like most other presidents do. Trump has done a lot of things that other presidents and first ladies haven't done that they just been like tradition that he's been breaking. And let's not forget that we have three new senators. We have the Democrat senators we have, that are being sworn today. We have John Osloff and Raphael Warnock that won the Georgia runoff Senate races. Then we have a Democrat, what is his name? Alex Padilla, who was appointed by the governor of California to fill um, Camila Harris's, the vice president's seat, which is a good thing. And let's not forget what Joe Biden said a little after, a little, about two weeks ago. And I'll, I'll paraphrase and also show what he said as well. He said that if we send uh, John and the Reverend to Washington, the $2,000 checks are as good as out the door. I say we hold them to that, don't you? Because that'd be great if we could just hold them to it and keep it to it, you know? The word on the street says that the massive COVID relief bill probably won't be passed until next month or March at latest. But however, um, next week, the House of Representatives is going to be trying to pass in some new legislation strictly for vaccines and stimulus checks. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't actually surprise me if they actually pass these ones. Well, okay, the Senate, we're hoping will pass it. We know the House will because they have a majority vote. At 5.15 p.m. today, Eastern Time, um, Biden will sign several executive orders. They include 100 days of masking up challenge. Notice we got to wear masks for 100 days challenge, as well as practice social distancing to help get this COVID-19 disease under control so we can get vaccines to basically conquer it. And hopefully, if the scientists are guessing correctly, we will get herd immunity from COVID-19. That's what they say. We'll find out. And he's also going to create the COVID response coordinator. Today, Biden will call on the CDC to extend the eviction moratorium till March 31st, which will help out the people that are going to be evicted at the end of this month to keep them in their month, their houses for a bit longer. He will extend the student loan pause until September, until September, that's right, I can't speak today, until September 30th. He has a lot of executive orders to sign today, but let's also Keep an eye on what Pelosi is doing in the House of Representatives. She's planning to pass, try to pass two standalone bills to try to get some brownie points with Biden. These two standalone bills are basically for the vaccine uh, distribute, uh, to distribute the vaccine, <laughs> sorry about that one, as well as to, for stimulus checks. Let's see if those bills actually pass. I mean, we know they're going to pass in the House because, as I said, this most democratic. But just because the Senate is now run by Democrats, 
is now a division of power because you have 50 50 for both Senate and uh, for Democrats and Republicans. So we'll see how that works, even though uh, Camille Harris is the vice president of the Senate. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, if they pass the $2,000 check one, that'd be great because they put more money in people's pockets. Because from what reports say is the $600 stimulus check that the people have ever received was spent up fast as they got it, and it didn't even last for a month. Which, you know what? That's right. I mean, why would $600 survive last anyone for, for one month? I don't know anyone that can survive on $600 or less, less a month and actually be comfortable. But until next time, you guys have a very wonderful evening. And I hope you guys watched the inauguration. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful night. And I will broadcast again to you tomorrow or Friday, if not both, and to let you know any new developments that you'll be interested in. So you guys have a wonderful night. And I will broadcast again to you later. Oh, 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 oh,